Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Neek, and you're tuned in to Neek at Night. And tonight we're going to be doing a reaction video of this girl who will not leave this woman's Airbnb. So the woman took to social media to talk about an experience that she was having with an alleged Airbnb tenant that refuses to leave her premises, and she is having a nightmare of a situation behind it. So let's roll it and see what is going on. Okay, ciao. Let's see. Yeah, don't trust no Airbnbs. Okay, so I can't even talk right now. I'm so pissed off. Yeah, I, I didn't know this shit could happen, but this shit is real. This shit is really going on. Goddamn, I call myself trying to find a way to goddamn pay off my mortgage a little better, a little quicker or whatever. So <clears throat> I put this this ad out or whatever saying I was looking for someone to sublease one of the rooms in my house or whatever. It was going to be a, supposed to be like this real smooth transaction or whatever. I was, went on vacation or whatever. All right. So she first starts out by saying that she wanted to make extra money by subleasing. She first said Airbnb, but as she talks further it sounds like she just rented a room kind of like she's saying airbnb but it sounds like in essence for real for real it sounds like she's renting a room and the woman won't leave after she rented the room but she started out with anyways let's play some more or whatever the person was supposed to be gone three right, days so let prior. me bring let me bring it back some Let's just start it from the top. She said, don't trust Airbnb. Yeah. Don't trust no Airbnbs. Okay. So I can't even talk right now. I'm so pissed off. Because if you, if you're doing an Airbnb, now that I think about it, if you're doing an Airbnb, you're not putting in an ad somewhere. You would just get the people who come to you who want to book. Whatever. Let me just finish playing it. She's having a problem with a tenant. Yeah, I, I didn't know this shit could happen, but this shit is real and this shit is really going on. Goddamn, I call myself trying to find a way to goddamn pay off my mortgage a little better, a little quicker or whatever. So <clears throat> I put this this ad out or whatever saying I was looking for someone to sublease one of the rooms in my house or whatever. It was going to be a, supposed to be like this real smooth transaction or whatever. I was, went on vacation or whatever. The person was supposed to be gone three days prior to my return. <clears throat> So I'm talking to my housekeeper, whatever, X, Y, Z. She's like, yo, that person is still here in your house. What do you mean they're still in my house? They're supposed to be gone. So when I get back and touch down in the city, this is still here in my motherfucking house, okay? Refusing to leave. All right. So she put in an ad um, to sublease or whatever the girl was supposed to be gone before she got back she gets back the girl's still there and refusing to leave y'all just heard her say it but i just have to pause it and recap just because this ain't my video period all right so let's listen to some more so i don't know what to do i'm used to this shit so i go down and i do up uh... there you go y'all straight to the in kitchen. I ain't going nowhere. So deal with it. Okay. So in the middle of her telling the story, the female who is in her home just prances across the living room and tells her that she ain't going nowhere and that she just need to deal with it. On top of her ass just intruded into my home, she disrespected me. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I've been trying to do this the right way. I done went down there and got the, <clears throat> the, the all the paperwork that I need to do to get her ass evicted out of my house, whatever. But that shit is a fucking process. I have to go through protocols and all the other stupid legal blase blase bull. And then I just got them. The police just like just left my house and I'm like, get this. At my house, they're like, "Oh, she's a tenant now. She's a tenant." Oh, there's police. Police. You and the police, oh, come okay? To my door. That's all I know. Your door. This is my house. How about you get the f out of my house? How about that's what?
what you do. How about you get the out of my house? How about you get the out of my house? How about you get... Sam though. Shit, always oh, my shit. Excuse me. Excuse me. You can record all you want. All you want, but I ain't going nowhere, okay? So deal with it. This is what I'm dealing with, y'all. I am Airbnb. So don't trust it. Don't do that shit. Make sure you know exactly who the f you let into your house because it is some freeloading motherfuckers who would just use you. But she keeps saying she says Airbnb again. But in the beginning, she said that she put in an ad for somebody to sublease. Do people put in ads on Airbnb to request? Something about that don't add up. Hold on. Let me go back. She says she put in an ad, but then she's saying Airbnb. Pissed off. I, I didn't know this shit could happen, but this shit is real. This shit is really going on. Goddamn. I call myself trying to find a way to goddamn pay off my mortgage a little better, a little quicker or whatever. So <clears throat> I put this this ad out or whatever saying I was looking for someone to sublease one of the rooms in my house or whatever. Subleasing a room and Airbnb is two different things. So I don't know. Something about that is, is weird. But let's go back to to this part. Oh, exactly. Who the f*** you let into your house? I'm dealing with y'all. I'm Airbnb. So don't f trust it. Don't do that. Shit. Make sure you know exactly who the f you let into your house because it is some freeloading motherfuckers who would just use you. Out my house. And then I call the goddamn police. And oh, she's a tenant. She's a tenant. not no tenant in my house. What do you mean? This is supposed to goddamn be gone. That's she's supposed to be. She's supposed to be gone. Call the police. Call the police. Because I ain't going nowhere. Don't touch that door or I'm calling the police on you. And they're going to arrest you. Fuck all that. Did you just... Are you smoking in my house? Are you... Sm are you... This... Yeah. MS. So what would y'all do if y'all had and she says that the police are referring to her as a tenant. So, again, I don't think maybe she's just using the term Airbnb like, you know, how some people just use terms for things that aren't really that because she says the police are is saying that she's a tenant. So if she subleased and she rented out the room, then that would be different if she Airbnb. I don't think the girl will be able to stay there past the date that she's supposed to check out of the house. So she keeps saying Airbnb. I don't think that it's a true Airbnb. But what would you guys do if you rented a room to a person and they refuse to leave and they are disrespecting your house in that manner? I want to know what you guys think about it down below. Let's talk about it in the comments section. And uh, yeah, I'm out.